So in first year, the course is basically split into three parts, organisation of the body, physiology and pharmacology, and biochemistry and medical genetics. So second year in Michaelmas term and Hillary, we do three modules as well. So we do applied physiology and pharmacology, pathology and neurology as well. And then we've got psychology for medicine also. In first year, people kind of say that you learn how the body works. And then in second year, you learn how it goes wrong and how to kind of fix it. We do a lot more kind of clinical work in second year as well. And then in Trinity Town of second year, we move on to doing an FHS project, which Tria is going to tell you about. So third year is actually four terms. It starts in Trinity as second year. FHS is final honor school. So basically it's an eight week research project, which you do in Trinity and then you write up in the following year. So in third year, there's five modules in cardiovascular respiratory medicine, molecular medicine, neuroscience, infection and immunity, and cellular physiology. And you choose to go to lectures for one. And then we've got patient doctor, which for first, second and third year is the only kind of clinical um, contact you have unless you kind of go out and seek your own, which is definitely possible to do. So we actually have a lovely GP, like well, each college has um, a GP practice that they're assigned to you. And we get to see patients, talk to them, talk through like clinical conditions, what we're doing, and we normally get like tea and biscuits as well, so it's great. The GP visits are supposed to be sort of linked to your syllabus. I just think it's like a nice break from all the science and it reminds you like why you're actually here. Oh yeah, this is the thing with Oxford as well, like it's quite unusual in that the first three years feel like a science degree, but at the same time you'd probably be doing science in more detail than you would with maybe like a five year medical degree at another university and then years four, five and six are massively clinical. So I've just done my first uh, patient and doctor visit. I was just shadowing a GP for an afternoon um, and we got to take a patient's history um, and then feed it back to the GP and see if we'd missed anything. I was quite lucky because I had someone who was very talkative so I didn't have to do an awful lot of work. But then we start to look at patients with particular conditions so I think we're going to see someone with cardiovascular condition because that's what's coming up next in our syllabus and then that continues throughout the year. When I went to the GP I mean first of all like in first year it was the first time I had gotten into a car for like five <laughs> weeks or something. And everyone cycles in Oxford guys and like a walk. I don't cycle. Barely, barely I don't much. cycle. <laughs> we also have in first and second year something called DR which stands for demonstration room. It's what we do for anatomy so at Oxford we do something called prosection which means that you kind of go in to a room and they'll have like a specimen out in front of you so if you're studying the limbs for example like in first year then you've got maybe the arm or the leg and a demonstrator in front of you and you're in small groups and you get to like have a look have a feel like see the anatomy in real life i really enjoyed them actually because the demonstrators will always give you like little mnemonics or like fun little Mm. facts and clinical details and things so that's really good i found that when i went to the dr session i hadn't really had time to do the reading beforehand oh yeah that's true and then i would just be there looking at this person not having any idea what the demonstrator was talking about my advice would be if you have time look at the anatomy before you go and then you can actually get something from it which is what i did not do it always gets passed down year to year like make sure you do it and no one has time and now we're passing it to you you guys (laughs) in third year you don't have any dr until the end of your exams and then you have three weeks of nine to five five days a week dr followed by exams it's supposed to remind you of your clinical anatomy before clinical school starts and there's also um the like living anatomy practicals mm-hmm. which go on the same time as the demonstration rooms which is basically some usually junior doctors i think come in and teach you about the anatomy that you're doing and how it works on people and they can be really good for like consolidating the information so my typical week i probably have two or three lectures per day and then maybe two or three practicals in the week and then maybe three or four tutorials but that can be quite varied so sometimes you've had a week of like really heavy organization of the body anatomy kind of lectures and you don't need that many tutorials on it so so far in first year we have about two practicals a week so we normally have on a Friday, a histology practical, which is a lot of looking down microscopes and drawing things that you see down microscopes, which is interesting for a Friday morning, um, but you can definitely learn a lot from the pictures. 
it's not a lot of stuff to do in an hour and a half. <laughs> Basically, histology is quite relaxed. It's just a good time to yeah. chat, to be honest. So second year in general is quite similar to first year in terms of workload. So we have on average like two to three lectures a day, two to three tutorials within the week. And then we might have a couple of practical classes also. Some other like classes as well later on in the week. I've got a statistics class. Literally is what the name is. It's um, a statistics course that we do alongside first year and second year. So it's kind of hour-long sessions going through statistical techniques and the interpretation of statistics that you might see in research papers and things like that so it's actually like it's quite a useful thing um, and in second year we've got pathology labs which are really similar to histology actually in that like you look down slides but we also do things like protein assays which are just different tests for like different proteins and immunoglobulins and things like that would be really interesting to it. Basically third year is different to the first two years because there's a lot of coursework so you have a dissertation and you have your write-up for your research project. I have four lectures on average a week which is a lot less than first and second year. This time I have four tutorials in the whole term. I had you know, 18 tutorials this time last year. Honestly it feels like you're doing no work but you still are doing work it's just a lot more coursework and the essays are supposed to be a bit longer like the reading list that we got for our most recent essay was 15 papers and like two textbook chapters but you know it's really different so you also have some physiology practicals in well so far the first time the first year there's only three of them the first one was mixing up blood in a centrifuge which was quite interesting the other two are about nerves and you basically have an electrode and you like put it in someone's elbow and try and make that arm twitch yeah i remember that yeah <laughs> i do remember yeah. that okay so like when we were doing ours i was the one who was being electrocuted so like we took ages to find the muscle because it's like a little muscle i think that um gets your little finger to twitch so like like that it's, it's in what's this muscle called do you guys remember don't ask me like, <laughs> Oh, skip God. over this bit well, and editing. We don't know the name of the muscle. I have forgotten all my anatomy. I'm so like <laughs> cramming for this. <medicine. laughs> this is what it is. This is actually a revision session. You have so many practicals in first year. Oh, we do. We have and so pharmacology practicals. Yeah, pharmacology as well. Stuff. They are normally um, injecting drugs into a bit of tissue. They are good for learning about the principles of G protein coupled receptors and that kind of thing. But I would say that there's just too many. Yeah. So like, good luck to anyone who's applying this year. Um, hopefully this has given you a bit of an insight into like what Oxford's actually like, um, what medicine is actually like. Thanks for watching Thanks us, for watching just us. sitting around and talking <laughs> and sharing like some of our little bits of wisdom as well. And like, yeah, this yeah. is great.